Okay, we should be live again. Hello, anyone? I'm here. Is the stream live again? Is the next question. Uh, that's a good question. My phone gets to delay slightly after it actually okay, happens. We should be live again. Hello. Okay. Okay, we're good. Um, I need to keep an eye on if it's a slideshow or not, and my internet does not like me doing this. Okay. Uh, who won that? Crap! I already forgot. That was Naperville Central, two-one. Naperville Central takes Ilios, two points to one. In our rules, um, the loser of the previous map gets to choose the next one out of the map pool for escort. Route 66 Realtor Junkertown, and Jones College Prep has chosen Junkertown. At this point, Naperville Central can choose to be on attack or. <laughs> goats? Oh God, that those are bad words. Eclipse wants to run goats here. Uh, the not so nice microphone is Terp. Uh, he is from school currently. He's we're, we're working on stuff here. It's first week, okay? Um, someone tell me if it's, if it's a slideshow still. I'm really hoping it's not, because otherwise I, want, I don't want to lower my bit rate anymore, really. So, NCHS has chosen to defend Junkertown first. My current internet does not like me running a stream, viewing a stream, and playing a game at the same time. It does not like that. Feels bad. Okay. I'm hoping this uh, this, this works. Uh, if, if we... Why'd they choose Junkertown? It's the best of the three, of course. Because I told them you didn't like it. <laughs> you just hate me, Turf, don't you? Yes. At least you're honest. Junkertown is, in all seriousness, I've, I've always enjoyed Junkertown because it's a map that allows a lot of different compositions to work. Um, there's there's definitely different schools of thought here, and I think it'll be a lot of fun to see what these two come out with as a plan. You can see pirate ship happen here, you can see like a double sniper type thing, or you can even see just a slow-moving Arissa Hog pull them into us and that kind of thing go on. So um, I'm, I'm excited to see what these schools bring out at Junkertown. Welcome to Junkertown. I think based on what we saw, I think based on what we saw in the in the previous map, you probably see some more of that brawlish type comp in the first one. Though you could see some some wonky things. We'll see what happens. But as we move on, I expect to see a little bit of Hanzo play, some May, uh, working some angles. And so as a, After relative, that last... as a relative outsider here, what I'm seeing a lot of is just not really contiguous fights. It's very stretched out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was Very. just going to ask, like, if, if if you're these teams, whether it's Naperville Central or Jones Turf, what, what kind of things do you think you improve on or learn from from that last match? Maybe not improve on, but learn about that last match and take going forward. If you have time to talk about it, I think focusing, target focusing was a big problem. Like I said, we had a lot of people spread out and a lot of targets going down left and right. So you got to get your shot caller working. Um, aside from that, just your alt cycling and management, you know, like we talked about, to take a point, you burn all four, yeah, you win that fight, but you have to think big picture in the, in the long run, you know, how are you going to win the map? So let's we'll see if they can improve on some of that a little bit. I, I, I was kind of wondering if we were going to see a little pirate ship, and I think you're going to have your wish. I tell you what, I love me some pirate ship. My, my guys faced a double sniper pirate ship in Overwatch Open League last year, and it did not go well. Well, the good news is you can't have that anymore, so... Thank God. <laughs> that was just awful. I like the Torbjorn pick. It's interesting. I don't think it's going to have a lot of effect whatsoever going into a double shield with the Bastion going at it, you know? It's going to be hard for that turret to get any actual work done, but we'll see what happens. I think if the Reinhardt player for Jones would have stuck with Roadhog, they would have been more well-suited to handle this, perhaps. But... They're going to have a problem here where their shields are just constantly burned down and they can't really get in the face. Yep. So you're looking at the, the, the split backline DPS, not double sniper, but still good enough. But at this point, yeah, anytime they try to get up into the face of that Bastion, well. Well, and here, and I stand corrected. They get Bastion off of it. Can they make it uh, finish the fight, though? The Widow spacing them out a little bit. It does appear that the defense has somewhat held them for now. That turret it is there. still 5v6, though. 
Yeah. I'm not sure that Jones has figured out where this turret is yet. Shatter gets blocked. Totally blocked. Nothing, nothing to that. We get a pick on the back line though. So without a, without one of your two supports, it makes it really hard to hold this point. Oh, but oh, beautiful dragon start. Everything looking coming up roses there for a strong play game game. Central and very nice. Classic distraction. That's all it is. Yep, came right totally from the building. Didn't see it at all. And Central did an excellent job there of taking that immortality field down, so that that was able to do work. I can't classify this as a reverse pirate ship, but I guess <laughs> it might be the attempt here. This game has so many weird turns. I don't think that's a term. I'm pretty sure I just made that up. Yes, well, I can confirm he just made that up. <laughs> I think that Dio has been getting a little more value out of D.Va, you know, dealing with this pirate ship than I expected her to get. Well, that has to do with the buffs that came through for her, but I think uh, we've got establishing our position now on point as the ship comes rolling. Torgrim playing a very dangerous game, my god. <laughs> They're not going to be able to wait for their teammate to come back, so if they're going to stall this out, they're going to have to get on the engage, otherwise back it out right now. Yeah, I, I they're they're going to give it up. No, nope, they came not. in at the last second. They waited out as much of the bongo as they could, but yeah, it's not going to be enough, because that bongo is still there all this time, and all this damage being put out. It seems like a pretty easy win for Jones here. Charge for charge. But Eclipse making me think about something. It's not all... Orbs coming through. We got the backline picks again. We've still got Jelly alive, just mowing people. Sauce Boss tries to get out. Un unbelievable. I stand corrected. Naperville Central able to stabilize that fight and now looking for a potential full hold on Junkertown. 0.46. Still not 0 0.02, but close enough. Hey. Love you. 0.08, right? 0.08 and hey. 0.08. We will not speak of this. The the uh, Springfield versus Glenwood 0.08. You give me a love casting that moment. Hey, but if we did speak of it, we would talk about how cool that was for Springfield, wouldn't we? <laughs> uh... Jelly coming through with the tank. The immortality field kept them up and going. They're looking to close down and get this 0.8 as time starts to run. Dio looking for another. Good shield by it. Like, that was a great shield by their Reinhardt there. Get in front of all their players. He just saved that point for them. Finally, Jones able to capture point A. If I'm not mistaken, I seem to remember a statistic in Overwatch League that Junkertown was the most commonly full held escort map that they had played in the season. Um, so, for because whatever that, reason. All open they, ground. Yeah, I think the, the openness certainly plays a role. In, in that, um, but yeah, Junkertown is one that is sort of, you know, is scary low-key as a, a offensive team. You can get completely stopped there. So as we round the first corner, Imperial Central comes in for the engage. We got a pick into the back line, though. One for one. It's all back to the brawling again. Yep, we're just not getting any wipes, really. Barring a couple big ults we've had, I, I don't think that we've seen a whole lot of you know triple kills in these Anyone fights. Anyone comment on the Torb turret taking down Widow? Widow had a sliver of health and came around the corner and say hello. I think Eclipse has done a nice job up to this point of um, putting these turrets in sort of awkward spots uh, and, and getting some value out of the weird angles they've created for the team. They try to combo the Sigma and Diva ult, but it is not going to hurt uh, Sigma and Diva. I apologize, different people holding at the same time. Eclipse doing work. Maybe your, your uh, opposite pirate ship has some merit to it here. Or, seems like Eclipse is getting a lot of value out of Torb that I did not expect to see. I'm all a fan for it, that's for sure. Yeah, it's fun. Sometimes when you see changes out of meta and stuff like that, it's 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 refreshing more than. 
Can we not fill the entire chat with letters? Guys? I appreciate you know your alphabet, but uh, now's not the time. Thank you to those that are in, involved in the stream, and we appreciate that. The uh, Reinhardt mental games are going on right now, but Jones's Reinhardt drops, and without him, this shatter can be big and blocked. And another investment, another questionable. But there is 10 seconds, so I guess I can see that being used to try to make sure you establish some kills and some. Oh, big shatter. Oh, oh. the counter shatter's there. Here comes the dragon strike. The when more Kelly field comes up. The turret, there it is. And the defense will hold out for Naperville Central here. They almost full held A, and they get halfway to B. And we finally heard that team kill ding there, Turp. We had our first one. I stand corrected. Score. Zero to one. Switching sides. Initiating match. So with a Torb on defense, do you expect to see any inclusion of Torb on offense in sort of this no. composition of the point? Or do you think they're maybe switched to Bastion? Or what, do you, what are we going to see it here out of uh, Jelly? Or I apologize, Eclipse. Um, it's, it's hard. I think you're going to see the... They're, they're going to be looking for those backline picks kind of like they did on the last map where they were trying to um, split a little bit. and it, it worked for them for a little bit on the controls. And it is a wide open space, so I don't expect to see a tour burn for sure. Bastion's a possibility, but we'll know shortly. Oh my goodness, he's not going to do it again. Uh, he looks like cool. he is. <laughs> oh yes, particularly we do have a delay you. on the stream, correct? Because I feel like there's a there's a little mind reading happening. Calling as soon as Terps called things, it just seems like these guys are picking against him on on purpose. Well, that'd be me. I didn't put a delay on it. I got the one. I got, I got the one pick as far as the sniper goes, but otherwise... Uh, <clears throat> and we do see the May coming out from Jolly that you mentioned as well. Shield up there on top, getting a look at where the opposing team is. The Torb turret quickly taken care of, not going to be part of this battle for another five to ten seconds. In your face pressure that in your face pressure that we've got going on, Eclipse coming around the side looking to set up his turret. A good spot this turret is in right now because, you know, we've had so much of this in your face fighting with shields up the whole time, and keeping it behind where you're pushing from lets them, excuse me, lets them sort of just ignore the turret and let it do its job while you pressure the front line. And then in your face fighting got Pacificberg his ultimate really, really quick as he dropped down that shatter to yep. start off that fighting. Dio gets right up in the face of the Hunter, charging up, trying to push them back and not allow them to engage here. Already, Naperville Central with a much better time uh, pushing in here than Jones had. Here comes a Dragon Strike from Jones. Not going to connect, but it does split the team up in half. Shatter just gets one. We do drop the freeze to see if it grabs anybody. Does get Dio out of her mech. Double the the back to back crowd control there only connecting on the Reinhardt and Diva. I'm not sure that was really worth that investment. Both of those ults can be so strong. So we do see a hold here by Jones, but they are going to be down in the alt economy. Not to mention Eclipse's Torbjorn, another molten core. Straight for zoning if they can if they can get. Close to the door again. Huge oh, that's, a big, like that's that. a big pick. 
Bro gets a torb turret, but with the beat drop out, it's not gonna get anyone else. Even despite their tanks going down, they're still coming in the full engage. Yeah, some some poor ultimate usage here by Naperville Central. They Questionable invest. being down one or two people and then still engaging on a full list of alts, because now you're sure. losing it. This is my will. Yeah, now their their damage ults are completely gone. Maybe Eclipse got really aggressive with Molten Corn knowing that he wanted to change the May, but the the Hanzo ult that came through was uh, surprising. Sixty seconds remaining. You See, oh, back line, five shatter. versus shatter. Enough to take out the tank on the front, and that's really all they needed. Now, see if Naperville Central decides to back up. They sure look like they're going to. They need that. But they can't afford to get anybody picked off right now because they won't get back in time. Yeah, and see how, like, this match so quickly went from feeling like uh, Central was dominating on offense to here we are, 25 seconds left, and they might not even get point A. Talked about that full hold. Okay, but there's another big pick by Kaplan. A block shatter. That's a big Blizz block. Blizzard got sucked in. Let's see if that. Yep, they were able to take out the tank. Big oh, anti though. Three first yeah, anti. Yeah. Can they cop or capitalize on it? Oh, looks like. I believe near Perception is going to be able to pull this off in the end. Move the point and take. I sure I really agree with that use of. Uh, Coalescence by Sauce Boss there. The, the fight had definitely been lost, and now we don't have a really strong uh, support ultimate coming online. So we're in the exact same situation as we were last time, two and a half minutes to get it halfway to B. Mm, let's see. Central definitely with the alt advantage going into this. Yes, we're gonna have four, possibly five online by the time the engagement occurs. You gotta think they know they have an old advantage here, and they might throw quite a bit into this just to try to win the fight right now while they do have that old advantage. For that one, let's see what comes next. Yep, because they should cycle. Hanzo drops. Blitzcrank gets his mirrored opposition. No kills there, but we're gonna see the Blizzard on point. They invested all four. Here's gonna go the tank. Oh, and tank and Moira go down. Diva gets knocked out of mech. A huge Diva bomb by Dio Ryan again, and that is going to win Junkertown for April Central. So the combo wins in that game. You drop Blizzard on point after they're already forced to be close because they can't give up. The, they can't give up distance, so they close in, get sucked by the Blizzard, and one Diva bomb later. We find ourselves with an Naperville Central taking the match. Two maps. We will play the third map for map differential, but for right now, Naperville Central has won this. Jeff Javelin says, fine, I can't hit you, I will punch you. <laughs> it's more of a backhand, but yeah. Yes. Like a... a, a the palm strike or whatever yeah, it's called. Right, yeah. The bottom of the wrist there, or the bottom of the palm there. As you can tell, I am not into martial arts, so I have no idea what I'm talking about. Seems like it hurt. Clearly, as she fell over from it. <laughs> How's our stream there, Kennedy? Running live, good go? Yeah. I'm gonna do stream stuff for a bit. Um, stream's gonna go dead for a couple minutes. Don't leave, please. Someone call okay. pause in chat.